Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Happy Thursday. Oh my god. Wait, it's... Yeah, it's Thursday. Yo! How are you? Welcome, everyone. Hello. What up, what up, what up? Otter Touch Thursday. Whoa. You gonna pet me or something? Them's, uh, them's fighting words. What's going on here? Hmm. Uh. Here to tell you your voice is very gender. What? I. Th thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I, uh. I don't even. <laughs> I. That means a lot to me, even if I don't fully know what it means. Because I don't even know what is going on with my gender. I just know that it's not not within the binary. That's all I know about it. That's all I know. But if I uh, if uh maybe you maybe you know some I don't I don't know. But I, that's very sweet. Thank you. Shame on you! I'll put the worst sandwich you can imagine in my fridge. Oh, oh no! It was a trap. What? Gosh, I could go for a sandwich right now. I I'm so sad. I, I for for lunch today. For lunch, I fired up the grill and I made a burger, even though I ate a burger yesterday. But this time, I burnt it and it was dry, like in, insanely dry. It was like drier than what they serve at like the school cafeteria. And I ate like most of it before I gave up on it. I was just, I was eating it being like, you know what, maybe, maybe it's not that bad. But I put a lot of ketchup on it, so that kind of added some moisture back into it. I was staring at the texture, and it looked completely like, like a petrified sponge in the inside. And I just, I just, I ended up throwing it out, and <clears throat> I don't know, I just, I just, I just dealt with that. I just had to live with that for the rest of the day. And then for dinner... I put some soup dumplings on the stove and I cooked it, but I over I overboiled it and the when you overboil the soup dumplings they Nasty burst open, patty. so it is just not I am not having a good day for for making food. I just Jesus Christ. I'm normally not this disastrous of a cook, Jesus. I swear to God. But I don't know. I don't even know anymore. That's why that's to tell you the truth, that's why I stole your sandwich from the fridge. I was hungry and feeling down, like I'm a failure. I can't even cook a burg. So I hope that that you'll forgive me. Um. Oh my gosh, Firebun, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you, thank you, Nasty Patty. Ugh! The Nasty Patty. <laughs> I didn't know that the sandwich that you had put in the refrigerator had been soaked in the toilet and dried off with gym socks. That's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of insane. Hmm. Yo, Turnover, is that album, that album makes me sad. I don't even know what songs they're playing. These are just from my Spotify and I don't know what song is from what album because I'm really bad with that kind of stuff. But I'm, I'm jamming out. I'm, 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 these are these are bangers for me. Scrub Daddy Patty Sandwich. Interesting. All your bad luck ran out. Now the day will be nice. Aw. What? I really like I like that. That's a good attitude to have. Damn. Hmm. No way, Chris grilling. Yeah, I'm don't let me grill you a burg. Uh-uh. Let's see. Hmm. Hi, everyone. Let's go to the chatting screen. I just realized I was in the starting soon screen this whole time. What are we doing here? Let's let us let's, let's let's go to class. Hi, every. Oh, oh my God! I'm still dressed up for Ghost Trick. What's up? Uh, this is my cosplay. Yeah, I worked really hard on it. What'd you think? Um, hi everyone, hello, welcome, I'm gonna say hi, I'm gonna say hi to y'all. Uh, Base Noodle Cads, Cads, thank you so much for the pet, Ryfox, thank you for the boop, I got welcome, welcome, Cambrian, Arjuna, welcome, welcome, Sam, hello, Dog Hop, hello, Yatoro, hello.
Let me turn the music down a little bit. Gorgeous! Whoa. What are you, looking in a mirror or something? Hi, welcome, welcome to the stream. Kid Thea 999 welcome, welcome. Uh, Hal, welcome, welcome. Iga, hello again. Sam, hello again. Fox, hello. Pori, out, hello. And uh, Alexander Cole, how's it going? Squeak Beast, welcome, welcome. Mm, Duckley, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Fart Nation. Yo, it's Farting Thursday. You're right, yo. Uh... Let's see, Bromine, hello. Uh, Riolu, hello. Sharks to meet you. Ooh, uh, Sharks to meet you too. Welcome, welcome. And um, Carpet Fuzz, welcome, welcome. Uh, Yoshi Kira, welcome, welcome. Let's see. We're going to be doing some more. Ba, 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 ba. Um, we're going to be doing some more Ghost Trick today. Um, Ghost Trick, good game. Really good game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, I think we're we're nearing the end, although I don't know if we'll beat the game today. I feel like it, it's possible if I, like, speed ran it, I could beat it today, but I also don't want to rush myself. Um, so we're probably going to do one more stream. I've got about six or seven chapters left, and we... I feel like we get anywhere between three to five chapters done per stream. So if we get three done today, we get three done three or four done next time and it'll be like nice it'll be like a nice little little this little really thing is nine plus ten moment and that gives me some leeway to be really dumb and confused at some of the puzzles so i definitely don't want to like put that pressure on myself like oh we're gonna beat it today but i don't know i mean anything could happen maybe i'm gonna go active like i'm gonna activate my like brain blast mode and we're gonna blow through the entire game Frat that'd be pretty cool heart. too uh, we will be joined by Allie in a little bit, a.k.a. Sea Party. Um, I don't think she's ready yet, but, you know, I'm, I'm warming up. Three months. Well, now I'm, going I'm warming for up. More. Thank you. Whoa, thank you for the resub. Thank you. Uh, whoa, whoa. Thank Three you so much. Holy cow. Yo, is there a hype train? Yo. What the heck? What the? Thank you. Um, here, let me go in order. Cream, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. This is a 9 plus 10 moment. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is, uh... 21. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, why did I have that button ready? <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for the resub. Holy cow. To, uh, to, how many months is that? 21. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you. I, d I don't... Why did I have that on my soundboard? That's kind of a... Bruh. That's kind of... Bruh. 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 Ow! Oh, oh, God. Oh, shit. Anyway, uh, thank you, Cream. Uh, thank you. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, Taro, thank you so much for the... Ah! 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 That... Oh. Whoa! That, that's how many gift subs is that? Twenty one. Well, that's twenty. That's twenty tier one, but that that's close enough. Thank you. Wow, Sherlock, thank you. I haven't forgotten the other resubs, but holy cow, this is just rolling in. Wow, thank you, thank you so so much. Seriously, holy cow, what the heck? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really really appreciate it. If you got a gift sub from Sherlock, please give him a big old firm handshake. That's twenty ones. Yeah, you're right. That's... Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta chill with these fucking sound effects. Jesus. These, like, vine... These vine sound effects from, like, 15 years ago. They gotta go. They gotta get the... We... Mm. Um... But... Thank you. Seriously, I really appreciate that. Um, Yatro, thank you so much for the resub. Tier 3 resub. Thank you, Yatro. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And Axiom Razor, thank you so much for the resub as well. Uh, that's half a year. Thank you so much. Whoa! Wow. Ah! <laughs> I got booped. Thank you. Whoa! What's going on? <gasps> I'm gonna go in order. I'm gonna go in order so I don't lose track of things, but... Um, oh, hey, here, let's, let's do a little bit more. Ah! 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 Thank you for the fart. Thank you, Anonymous. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm not ready for this. 
Axiom Razor, thank you again. Thank you so much for the six months. I really appreciate it. Holy cow. Uh, Sang, Sang He the Wolf, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you, thank you. That's three months. Thank you. Um, Strollbach, thank you again for the 20 gift subs. Oh my goodness. And JT, thank you for the gift sub to Vine Sauce. Thank you. How are you? Thank you so much. Um, Ryfox, thank you for the tier three. 26 months, thank you. Oh my goodness, I am filled with spaghetti. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm filled with gratitude, actually. I'm actually not filled with spaghetti. Oh my gosh. I'm good, you adorable bean. What? Takes one to know one. Hmm. Hmm. Who's, who up ghost tricking? Uh, who's got two thumbs and is up ghost tricking? Um, um, this, this otter. Yeah. Um, let's see. I've been classically conditioned to lower my volume upon hearing, oh, hey, babe. I'm sorry. I should lower my <laughs> alert audio. Oh. Uh. I am, I am, I'm, oof. Oh, my gosh. I'm all hyped up now. What the heck? I'm juiced up. You're juicing me up. I'm all juiced up. How, how are you, by the way? How is chat? What's new with you? I want to hear about... What you been up to? We'll be getting into the game really soon. I ah! Thank you! Jim the Warlock, thank you for the five gift subs. Holy cow! Thank you, thank you! What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What are we what are we at at the hype train right now? Oh my gosh. You're y'all are killing me. Thank you so much. Dude, I'm ju I'm juiced up. I'm juicing right now. Been good other than bad allergies. Oh no, I hope your allergies get better. I surely am doing. Sometimes, sometimes it's enough to do, you know? That's okay. It do. I mean, I do. Um, it's not the volume so much as it me not wanting people to think I'm watching violent diarrhea videos alone in my room. <sighs> Whether or not people know you do that, doesn't change the fact that you are in your room watching diarrhea videos. So, why don't you why don't you chew on that one? Would you, would you chew on that for a little bit? Uh, you don't gotta worry so much about what people think of you. I mean, I'm judging you. I think you're weird. Let's see. I played Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart yesterday for the first time since it came out on PC. Whoa. Wait, the port is bad? Oh no, it freezes a lot. Oh no, I heard that game is good too. Darn it, I'm, uh, darn, I, I'm really sorry. I hope that they patch it out and like make it a little bit, a little bit smoother. But um, yeah, I I, I do want to play that game. M maybe once it's like patched and stuff, uh, we'll play it on this channel. Who knows? I mean, it looks really cute. You're playing Peak, huh? What do you mean, Ghost Trick? Ghost Trick is is Peak. You're right. Is this Goober Hours? Uh, I'm Goober 24-7, so yes, it is Goober hours. It's actually 33 minutes past Goob, Goob o'clock. Um, I'm fired up. Our driver got wrecked out of a win. Whoa. Whoa. Is this, like, like, horse-related? Interesting. Interesting. Well, it's good that you're fired up. Yo, Ahmed, hi. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Uh... Oh, it's not horse. Oh, it's NASCAR. Uh, you, you, that's what I meant. <laughs> that's what I meant. Yeah, horsepower. Yeah, that's, that's what I. Yes, yes, of course. Um, I do. I do. I, I fuck with that. Enjoy the games. Ooh, thank you. I've been advocating this game since the DS iPhone one. Yeah, I'm. I'm really enjoying it so far. This is our, I think, fourth stream of it so far. Um. Very fast horses, yeah, exactly, yeah. What are what are NASCAR cars but really fast horses, robot horses? Hmm. Ghost a uh, trick, low key, one of the games of all time. That's what I'm saying. I want to. I want to see. I actually didn't really know much about this game until I started it. I didn't even know what kind of gameplay it was or what the story was about. And I'm basically going in blind, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, this is super fun. I would I would have really loved this on the DS. I never had a DS. I only had a... I never had an original DS, but when the 3DS came out, I got the 2DS, so... 
I am just like Mondo nerd when it comes to that like whole generation of games. Like I missed out on a lot of stuff and even like the 3DS games, I didn't even get to play them right because I didn't like the 2DS very much. Hmm. Let's see. Got to go. I'm very sorry. Yo, thank you so much for the, the gift subs earlier. Thank you. And thank you for showing up and just hanging out a bit. Uh, I really, I really appreciate it. Hope you have an awesome rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you. Um, not a DS haver, shake my head. I know, I know, I'm so ashamed. I missed out. There was some, like, really good stuff in the DS. I missed out on a lot of games, I think. I stopped playing games for a while. So, I never had a GameCube, I never had a DS, and I never had a Wii U. So, I'm... There's a lot of games that I haven't played. But you know what that means? It means if they get ported or remastered, then we get to play it on this channel, and I can be like, what? That's so fun, you know what I mean? So, I, you know what? It's not so bad, but it hurts not knowing what these games are. I don't know. I just like, I can't relate, you know, um, but I'm, I'm glad I get to play them now. Um, it's the same devs who ported Spider-Man. They fixed it in two to three weeks. I thought they weren't going to have issues with Rift Apart, but it did. Damn. Well, if they, I mean, if they did end up fixing the Spider-Man issues after release, then maybe it'll happen again. Probably just like industry crunch kind of stuff. Never felt the joy of Nintendo Land. Yeah, I've only ever seen Nintendo Land. I may have played, like, a minigame once when I was over at a friend's place. Yo, Leroy, thank you so much for dropping by. How are you? Uh, have fun. This is so cool. Game, yo, you're so cool. But you're not a game. You're, you're all business. At least for me. I would never play with your feelings. Hmm. But yo, shout out to Leroy. I can be a game... Whoa, <laughs> whoa, but do I win or do I lose? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all, I really got to pee. <laughs> I know we just started. I am so sorry. Please, please don't go anywhere. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, BRB. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Yo, I'm back. What's up, y'all? Thanks for waiting. Uh, let's see. Where's my... I, I, I gotta get another stream deck or something. I'm running out of buttons here. I have to, like, find, like, the right screen to be on to change my OBS scene. Where are we? We are here. There we go. Hi, y'all. Hello. Um, sorry to keep you waiting. I... And back. And. I 
think. I think, I think, I think. I think I found an alley. Give me one second. Mwah. Hello. Hello. <sighs> Hi. How are you? Hi. Uh, Manny says, do you milk your otter or do you just juice them? I mean, I think that was t directed towards me, but what, what do you think about this? <sighs> <laughs> Never mind. How are you? <laughs> How are you feeling? Wait, I have a tic TikTok? No, a tweet related. What? To that. To, <laughs> to show you. Is that? Can I show it? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Allie. Hi. Chat, this is Allie. Hi. Allie, this is chat. Hi, chat. Here you go. Let me see. Let me see. Whoop. Give me one second here. Boop, boop, boop. <sighs> what do we, what do we got? Let me pause music and... Aw, oh, what the heck? <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, let me show you. Uh, you said milk and otter and... Mwah. And... <laughs> well, Wait, am I zoomed in or something? Hang on. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> so cute! What the heck? Aww. You're right, the, <laughs> the tail wag! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to wag my tail like that. Bup, 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 bup. Oh my god, that... Oh, you're, I'm, you're losing your shirt. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it's not, I'm actually naked. This isn't real. It's just cardboard. I couldn't afford the cosplay. Ba, 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 ba. So You're cute. So happy. The tail. Oh my gosh, what the heck? That's so cute. Thank you for showing me that. Um. Wait. Uh, ready for some ghost trick? Wait, you didn't tell me how you're feeling. How are you? Uh, my tummy hurt, but no! I'm, being, I'm being brave No. about it. No, so. oh my gosh. Everyone, can we get some frat boy praise? Frat boy, frat, frat boy pray in the chat, please. Can we spam that? I think it'll help. I mean, that's it better. Ugh. Can't hurt. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your tummy. Um, I believe in you. Make sure you have water. Water. I'm sipping. Uh... I'm gonna do my best non-dying voice reading for you today, it's, everybody. It is okay <laughs> if you, uh, you know, don't don't push yourself too hard. You know what I mean? Like it's it's okay if if it sounds Ooh. like. Why don't we? You know what? I'm gonna write it into the lore, but it'll be like Lynn has a stomach ache also in the game. <laughs> it's all the chicken. Now. It's all the chicken. Yeah, from ate. the chicken. She ate like a whole giant chicken, and this is what happens. It's immersive. We're all immersed. My immersion. Oh. How do I? Let me see. Uh, and ginger ale. Ooh. Yeah, ginger ale. Good. Do I don't even ginger? have. No. Do you have a uh, strawberry cream Dr Pepper? Yeah, I don't want that though. That's so sweet. <laughs> Can't. I mean, it's kind of like ginger ale. No, it's not because the the thing about ginger ale is that it's ginger. Yeah, but there's, uh, pepper. No, no. Doctor Pepper. Th no. <laughs> Here I'm screen sharing the game to you. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Um, I feel I, like I'm gonna be in rare form today. Just warning to everybody. So. I I feel like. <sighs> Does ginger ale really have actual ginger in it? Or is it just like the carbonation that makes the stomach like, go? Okay. But ginger settles your stomach, so everyone swears that ginger ale helps. But I feel like ginger ale that is like you get in like a twelve pack or like whatever, like Seagram's, whatever brand, you know, there's like barely any ginger in it, and it's mostly just sugar. So at that point, hmm. you might you might as well just drink any soda. But like people, people. People say that and they don't actually like ginger. And I love ginger. Bring on the spicy. I love ginger too. Ginger is good. And ginger ale is good also. Although I guess I never had like real authentic ginger ale from not like the store. 
Yeah, well, seven, God, seven up. Does that still exist? Um, that's seven a lemon lime. It's kind of like Sprite, right? I yeah. don't know if I could tell them apart. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, that's home remedy shit. Hi, Ahmed. Yeah. Absolutely. Also, hi, Chew. I feel like and the Danny. Dr. Pepper could, it could help. I mean, it's cold, it's no, busy. No, uh, I feel like it'll just make my stomach upset. I know me. Okay. But thank okay. you. Thank you. I, uh, you know what I'm sad about is that I had like, I had like ginger candy chews. Oh, you know what? I might actually, Ooh. I might have some. <gasps> oh my gosh, go get it. I Seven think. Up is hard to find. I I remember 7-Up tasting exactly like Sprite. Like, is it better than Sprite? Uh, I had spicy ginger ale ones. Do not recommend. I'm gonna check Whoa. my backpack real quick. Yeah, take your time. Ginger burns like burns. You know what? You know what I fuck with, though? If I have, like, a tummy ache? Like, honest to God, um, kombucha. A lot of kombucha flavors have ginger in it. And every time I have kombucha, I feel like my stomach settles. I... I don't know. I don't really say that with like all probiotic stuff, but like I, I swear I'm a, I, I love the booch. I'm a boocher. Um, kombucha is good. Uh, some people don't like the taste, but I like it. It kind of kicks you in the face. It, it tastes like it kicks you in the jaw, and it's awesome. I'm drinking kombucha right now. Oh my gosh, dude! I wish I had some. Every time I go to the store, I always get one. Mmm, I found one. Yo, uh, I hope it helps. Hmm. Seven Up is closer to Mountain Dew than Sprite. Really? What? But Wait, Seven Up. Who said Seven Up is closer to Mountain Dew than Sprite? Uh, Manny said that. Is that true? I feel I like know. I. Well, I never had Mountain Dew until like a few years ago on stream. So, I guess I didn't have like the vocabulary to compare the two when I had it when I was <laughs> lower. <laughs> so I googled Seven Up flavor. Yeah. And it just says in big bold letters, lemon and lime. Description. Nothing can lift up your day like the crisp and refreshing taste of 7-Up. What the heck? Packed full of light lemon and lime flavor. 7-Up is the perfect beverage for any occasion. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And live it up with 7-Up, not sponsored. <laughs> what? How is that not sponsored? That's like... <laughs> I'm saying that's Oh, sponsor. we're not sponsored. <laughs> you just like, that was like the most intense ad ever. Ad read. It's just, every time the word, the word up is written here, it's in caps. <laughs> seven up, trademark symbol. People also ask, does seven up taste like Sprite? How many flavors does seven up have? Is seven up made with lemon and lime? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what. Cherry. I just want a straight answer. Google is not a help at all. Um, anyway, Seven Up well. has a more subtle lemon lime flavor with a hint of ginger, apparently. Oh, there's ginger in Seven Up. I didn't know that. I wonder why they. Now. I wonder why they like don't really make as much Seven Ups anymore. Follower, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. Would be called Chester Uber. If you had a car sona, it would be called Chester Uber. Wait, why? Is it because Uber kind of sounds a little bit like Otter if you got smacked in the head really hard with a mallet? <laughs> Chester the Uber. No, I don't know about that. Uh. I'm not really, that's... I thank you for the resub, but I don't know about, I can't lie to you, but that's not, that, I don't know if I, I don't know if I would be a little, that. A little reach. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna get started. I think I am at chapter 12. If you have Sierra oh. Mist and add a splash of Pepsi just enough to color it, it tastes like ginger ale. Weird. That sounds wrong. Chemistry! Wrong. No, that sounds wrong because are, there was a TikTok recipe for a while that was like, <gasps> oh. that was like, if you add uh, ice and water, like ice water to balsamic vinegar, it'll taste like a Coke. And it didn't. It tasted like vinegar. Yo, I saw an ad. They have... Pineapple Pepsi now. Ooh, what? <laughs> Pineapple Pepsi? I have, I've got to add milk to that. I have this immense- Pi Pine Pilk? Pine, pine, yeah, Pine Pilk, yeah, exactly. Pine, Pineapple Pilk. 
pineapple, pineapple pilk. Dude, I need that. I want to go to the store at some point and see if they have that. Keurig Dr. Pepper owns 7-Up. They will also sell Canada Dry, so that probably sells... You know what? I'm getting sidetracked, but... Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna... My fault. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to do the soda deep dive after stream. My illness. Your illness? No. I hope the, the ginger hmm. thing that you ate helped. But anyway, we're gonna continue. Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna continue until our tummy aches kill us all. <sighs> Sorry, I'm gonna sigh a lot. It's okay. I'm just breathing through. Sigh it. as much as you need. <laughs> Aram, thank you so much for the Two resub. Years. Two years! One Whoa. day I'll be Whoa. able to catch more than ten minutes of a stream crap boy yeah. tea crop. Whoa. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the two-year sub. Happy subversary. And thank you for the 10-minute microdose that you do of the stream. <clears throat> All right. We're getting into the game now. It looks like the kidnappers made a big mistake. The girl in the trunk was Detective Jowd's daughter, Camilla, not the minister's daughter. <gasps> oh, yeah. <gasps> bruh. I just hit the bruh button. Sorry, I, I have to stop using these outdated sound effects. Ugh. When I got back to the Justice Minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. The devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. Oh boy. I told Lynn what I found out about the kidnapping, that it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who had been abducted. That the, kidnap uh, the kidnappers had been holed up in Camilla's old house, and that they sensed my presence and were already gone. I like the recap that they do. Oh, sorry, that's mm -hmm. you. But Camilla? Why do they what have Camilla? Called Chester the Ogre. Her Thank father the isn't this- scholar. Sorry. What? It's okay. Her father isn't the stupid old justice minister. I think the stupid old part is a little uncalled for. It looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor girl kidnapped for the ransom of her own father's execution. It's just too much! It's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. And then there are those other twists, too. Like the kidnapper is winding up and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could be just coincidence. And them sensing my presence. They seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. I told you before, detective. I want you to stand back. Who cares about distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister. It wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. Ah! Talkin, I believe in you. I'm a realist. Please! If you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I tried calling a hundred times, my wife won't answer! She won't? It, it's complicated. Oh, why does life have to be such a complicated thing? But if she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everything's... normal? That doesn't prove it! <laughs> and I'm being watched, I can't have the police go check for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight... The hostage will be killed. What difference does it make that it's not my daughter? Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Woo-wee. That's quite a pickle, uh -oh. Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. Oh, no. <gasps> <gasps> Miss me, baby? Inspector Cabanella. I love this guy. I have a little report for you, Mr. Minister. Ooh, whoa. Whoa! The escaped prisoner has been apprehended. Thought you might like to see him, so here he is. Oh shit, what? Why? <gasps> whoa, there he is. Detective Jowd! Daddy. Detective Jowd, I'm, I'm so sorry, I tried. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. 
Daddy Jowd. <laughs> Lynn, please don't apologize to me. Whoa, that face. Yeah, I know. <laughs> ah, the beautiful love between a teacher and a student. It brings a tear to my eye. Hmm. Oh, what am I doing now? All right, let's see. There's dialogue and then there's thoughts. Let me do my thoughts. Lynn doesn't really know that Jowd is innocent. She just believes it from the bottom of her heart. The execution and the kidnapping are real threats, and time marches on. I'll gather information and see if I can think of something. This all relates back to me somehow, I just know it. Man, I don't remember this at all. You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella? That the execution was tonight. I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Jowd could never have done such a thing. Ha ha ha! Oh, come on now, baby. I know no such thing. Huh? I know two things to be true, and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty. And two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? <gasps> Whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to the prison? I think you only brought him here to brag about your accomplishment. Isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons? <laughs> so were all those rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend? Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> These noises in his deadpan face. <laughs> Everybody has certain principles they can't go back on, including me. You'll, under you'll understand that someday, baby. Fucked up. That's enough, Lin. But Detective Jowd! I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But... Oh no. So dramatic. Alright, let me, let me remember how to do this. I am in a phone right now, and I want to... I don't know, let me, let me talk to this guy, actually. Let's see what he's gotta say. Oh, my poor Amelie, is she alright? Actually, the girl who was kidnapped is named uh, Camilla. Why is a dream talking to me in my head again? Wait a minute, Amelie? Could that be the Amelie next door? Yes, I think so. Wow, I didn't know the Justice Minister lived next door. No, not me, my wife. It's oh, complicated. Yeah, I bet it would be pretty hard to admit she left him. The Minister's wife ran away on him? Maybe they grew apart, what with him being so busy? Yeah, I bet you're right. Please stop gossiping about me inside my own head! <laughs> Fucked up. Hmm. Oh. I think I'll just go this way. Talk to Lynn. According to what mm. I heard, uh, <clears throat> Emily was supposed to go to some sort of lesson tonight. Those horrible kidnappers, they were lying in wait for her. But Emily didn't go out after all. She couldn't. She had a fever. Huh. And so the kidnappers grabbed Camilla by mistake instead? Apparently, Amelie and Camilla are about the same age. The kidnappers must have gotten the two of them mixed up. It's my fault. If I hadn't asked Camilla to do that errand for me, this never would have happened. Oh, right. You asked her to bring me the music box. Camilla. Hmm. Beaming right into his brain. i check on everybody. So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I hear something happened. Something about a kidnapping? Some kidnappers are saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. That's terrible. What's their demand? He looks so chill about that. I guess he's about to die, so he doesn't care. Ryan the Fox, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you, and happy subversary. Holy cow, that's two years. Two years. What? A lot of two-year... A lot of two-years today 
Thank you. That's terrible. What's their demand? The carrying out of your execution tonight. Ha <laughs> ha I had no idea I was so hated. The minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple. Why not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camilla. What? Camilla. I checked it out for myself. I'm positive. No, it can't be. And by the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him. I'm the one who shot her. I'm the one who shot Alma. And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it. Camilla won't have to suffer any more after tonight. For a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. <laughs> you dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. What? Is it true what Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what? Uh, why don't you tell us what you know? The murder five years ago. To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's Alma's birthday. We came home from work, and she went in first. That's fucked up. I guess it'll show us what happened. It was, um... Uh... Camilla's... Birthday present surprise gone wrong. I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Alma and Camilla. Just the two of them. So the little lady's mother died right in front of her. Oh my, that's so terrible. Fucked up. Uh, Camilla told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to. Made an impossible move. An impossible move? Whoa. Let me... Well, let's do Powers of the Dead first. It's been five years since then. I've stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I'd con convinced everyone of. Even me. But tonight, you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. The powers of the dead, right? That day in that room, the powers that I didn't understand were at work. And if that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Maybe not all. There are a couple of other people who know about those powers. Ooh. Oh, uh, is, yeah, I guess. Uh, it's me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 could, I could read the flashback ones because they're not always clear. So I, I let me let me do it. Okay. Is someone there? Can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. The kidnappers who abducted Camilla knew about those powers. This is no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Jowd. There's still time before dawn, a little anyway. How about you see this case through before the end? Uh, how about you see this case to the end before you die? An impossible move. Camilla was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions, but there were two very strange points about that contraption. The first was, of course, the firing of that gun. Right. There was an antique gun that I had on display for years. Yatara, I'll see you later. Yo, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging out. So it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't. It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday. And the other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? Ooh. It was supposed to shoot its arrow without turning around. Hmm. Somebody made a change to the contraption's design and then manipulated it. Ooh. I don't know what to say. I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Camilla. I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. Whoa. 
What kind of adjustment? The gun, of course. The gun, huh? Come to think of it. Oh. There was no gun there. Just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out of that frame with that picture. Love your custom Sissel otter? Thank you. Thank you. It's just a sloppy hair and suit just pasted on, but I'm happy with it. And I didn't want to cover my eyes this time, so I put my sunglasses all cool like on my forehead. Ooh, so cool. Thank you. I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption, but one thing was for certain. That gun was still smoking. So that gun really did shoot Alma. I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. What? You mean... And that detective still thinks it's a music box. So that's what was in the box, huh? I got a different murder weapon ready to give to the police. My own pistol. And I did a few other things to make it look good. I won't go into the details. When I, when I was all alone, uh, when I was all done, I turned myself in. Whoa. Fucked up. <sighs> Detective Jowd, is what you told us just now true? Yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Still time? Time to solve the case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jowd, and of course, little Camilla didn't do it either. So the true perpetrator is still out there, and I'm going to prove it. For Camilla's sake! Ugh. Yeah, that was, that was acting just now. That was awesome. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Thank you, Detective Jowd. Lynn, where is that music box now? In Tempsick Park. Camilla left it there. That gun is important evidence. You better go pick it up. Yes, sir. I'll go right now. Sissel, take care of Detective Jowd. And do something about the kidnapping so we can get the minister on our side. And yet again, I say easy enough for you to say. Uh. What's going on? Deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row inmate. Oh, a little change in plans. My daughter has been kidnapped. I can't go off to die without doing something. But you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everyone's waiting for you with a special seat just for you, baby. That's fucked up, by the way. Why would he say that? I thought they were friends. This guy's fucked up. Yikes. He's, he's cool, though. <laughs> he, he, he got the riz, but he's fucked up. Then uh, I guess we'd better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. I want to save Camilla in more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. I see, my old friend, in more ways than one. Ooh, just kick him in the nuts. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight as planned? Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? Oh, the order still stands! Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. And he goes really low. As you wish, your excellency. Oh, sh shut up. <laughs> Please don't bow down to me, and especially not that low. <laughs> In that case, can I have one of your boys arrange a van uh, prison van to pick them up? Would you be so kind? Well, yes, sir. Man, he really doesn't care about anything anymore. He just pull it out of his butt. The van should uh, take about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. Will you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Row inmate? Ooh. Miracle time. 
I'm glad to see Detective Jout all fired up now, but I feel like I'm under the gun here. Even if Lin does uh, come through with the proof of Jout's innocence, it will be meaningless if Jout or Camilla dies. I've got to do something about that kidnapping somehow. Maybe I should ask for some advice from the capable detective here. Hmm. What kind of miracles can I do? Why don't you ask for some advice from the capable detective there? <laughs> hmm. Most likely, the minister won't stop the execution. Not as long as there's any small chance his daughter is the one who was kidnapped. But she isn't the one! I'm sure of it! Well, it would be great if we could prove that to the minister. Prove it? How? I doubt his wife is ever going to answer that phone if we call from here. If we call from here, right. But if telephone works in both directions... What are you saying? What I'm saying is, only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost? Yes? I have to admit, I don't like depending on others. But you're the only one who can change the situation. Gee, Detective. For the past five years, Camilla is the only thing that kept me going. I can't go meekly to that chair now. I hate to ask this, but would you mind saving me? I'll try! The key to getting the Justice Minister to stop the execution is his wife and daughter, but is there a way? Hmm. Oop, I don't want to talk to you. Okay. I guess we can go to... Is it Red Lady? La Lady's Red? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. Sometimes the Riz takes you on a journey, a journey where you make a grim joke about your friend's execution. Oh my god. That's too much Riz. <sighs> god, the silhouette. Just as I thought. This little girl is safe in her bed. So I gotta get her to call. <laughs> Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping. This last link in the long chain of a sad fate lit a fire in Jowd's heart, and the chance to turn it all around is right here in this room. I'm getting a strange premonition. Everything that happened so far tonight has related back to me in some way, and I bet this mistaken ridden abduction does too. Hmm. How's that all gonna tie together? Wait, that was chapter 12 was just dialogue? Yeah, well, I guess. Oh, shit, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Chapter 13, 12.51 AM. Oh, shit! Here it is! I visited the novelist's apartment again. I'm hoping to be able to do something about this mistaken identity kidnapping. As long as there's any possibility that it could be his own daughter who was kidnapped, I doubt the Justice Minister will call off the execution tonight. <laughs> I'm acting. The key to dispelling the Minister's <laughs> doubts is now in bed. Coughing. <laughs> And I, and, and I need to use this key before the prison van arrives to pick up our death row inmate. Wow, oh, she's... She is typing that fanfic. Oh my god, yes she was! I remember! Oh. My darling angel, oh, just listen to that cough. You naughty thing. Did you leave your nice warm bed to go out into the night to play? A daughter after my own heart, but I, mu I must confess I didn't even notice you were gone. <laughs> I didn't go out to play. I went out to buy Papa a birthday present. Ooh. He said he wanted a new lighter. But that's no reason to go out this late at night. But my fever finally went down. I could barely move before that. <laughs> but look at what it brought you. Your fever is worse now than ever. Here is to the feverish passion of my darling angel. She just cheers to the you fucking dying of a fever. Mama? Yes, darling? Let's call Papa and wish him a happy birthday, even though it's already past midnight. Not tonight, Amelie. 
I hate you. <laughs> Whoa, fuck. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Looks like this little girl was safe all along. I already knew that, but I'm still relieved all the same. And there's another lucky development, too. Amelie wants to call her father. Now, if I can just make use of that feeling somehow, that would surely bring the Justice Minister around. Whoa. <laughs> I hate you! I hate you! <laughs> uh, hmm. What do I do? Oh, I can light the lighter. Set her house on fire. That'd be cool. Ooh. Let me try that. Oh. Whoa! Oh. oh, well, there you go. <gasps> That could have, I mean, that could have gone really bad if I wasn't careful, but I guess that worked out. Uh oh. Amelie, I told you, you couldn't call him tonight. Why not? Listen to me, Amelie. Your father is about to make a big mistake. I want him to reconsider. What do, you, what do you know about it, Mama? He was the one who's the justice. He's the one who's the justice minister. You know, I hate you. All you have to do is write. All you do is write weird novels. Uh oh. Holy shit. What do you mean weird? How dare you disparage my romantic expressions? Now you've really made me angry. You really have. Oh my God, she went super saiyan. How do you expect me to forgive such an insult? Oh shit. No! I love how Chris only has one voice. I. Oh. Okay. Be nice! <laughs> okay. <laughs> there. I'll be keeping my eye on you now, so you won't do anything else mischievous. <laughs> like calling your father. I'll show you one voice. I hate you! <laughs> I can hear you, you know. That's my toad. I got two voices, actually. I'm, I just spared you. I was sparing Look. you this whole time. <laughs> Look, she moved closer. Oh no. What a pair. I don't know what this family's issues are, but I do know... Uh, I have to do something about this lady so Amelie can call. Hmm. She, oh, oh, oh. Did you, oh, did I you miss the I missed the, the quick time event. Too weak. Waste, waste bath. Interesting. Turn knob. Okay. <sighs> Swing harder. <gasps> Make chime. A rat. Oh my god. Oh, rat. Okay. Valve. Hoist. What does hoist mean? To lift up. To lift. Okay. <laughs> I could be wrong. Watch it go down. Oh, a it is a hoist. Oh, it is a hoist. I, I can't hoist it. Chris's voice is the shy, gentle NB next door with an undiagnosed anxiety disorder. Are you diagnosing me, follower? Thank you for the... I thought I was supposed to be paying you for a diagnosis. What's going on here? You're paying me to diagnose me? Thank you. I, 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 I appreciate that. 100 biddies. Like... Whoa. Um... Oh my gosh, I think I missed a resub from earlier. Ryan the Fox, I don't know if I thanked you 19 minutes ago. Oh, I did, I did. Thank you, you did. again. Mm -hmm. I just want to make two sure. Two years. Yeah, two years. Um, here's two bucks. You have ADHD now. Awesome! I got two dollars! Two Whoa. whole dollars! I have that and I didn't get two dollars. <laughs> What's going on? Everyone go gift Ali some subs. No, no. <laughs> uh, that's uh, twitch.tv slash s3apparty. Stop that. Wanna Bruce, thank you so much for the Whoa! Uh, whoa, happy subversary! Whoa, what's a whoa! lot of subversaries today? What the heck? Thank Everyone's you. Everyone's born today. I know. Thank you, thank you so much, Wanna Bruce. Chew no. Let me turn this latch and drop the rat on her. Yeah, drop the rat. Oh shit! Ooh. That's a cra <laughs> that's a crafty rat right there. Ooh. Um. He's just trying to live. You're out here fucking him up.
Well, well, having a good time, are we, little rodent? <laughs> I love how she's so chill about it. She's just like, oh, look at that. Have fun. Uh-oh. Uh, uh Sweet no. dreams. No. Uh. That's, that's fucked up. <laughs> Did you fancy the vintage, my whiskered friend? Oh, it's chewing through. Is that like, it's like a fucked up wire. Up yeah, there. I think it looks like it chewed through a wire. Interesting. Wait, there's a thought? She's more powerful than I thought. <laughs> oh, <laughs> looks like she tipped the wall candelabra to one side too. Hmm, the <gasps> angle of those candles. Ooh. I get the feeling I've seen something very similar th uh, to that quite recently. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> so is it dead? Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh! oh. Oh my god. No! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, the power. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, heavens, a blackout at a critical time like this. Of course, dim lights suit my story of love very well, but I myself am not very fond of the dark. Whoa, wait. Her posture is shit. Does that mean I can go back four minutes for the rat? <gasps> oh! This chandelier just narrowly missed the back of my head. I love the thrill of romance, but I don't need these kinds of thrills. Thank you. Yo, Cory, hi. Look at the fancy otter. Yo, what's up? Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Yo, I don't know if rats have, like, enough soul ah. power to, like, go back four <laughs> minutes for. Because, like, we can do it with dogs. Wow, you see that? Wow! Wait, she, whoa! Wait, wouldn't... Did she she lit the match on her ass, wrote them... Like, lit them all at the same time and then put it out in her wine? But what isn't wine alcohol? Isn't that flammable? It would, yeah, it'd probably light on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, what a wonderful atmosphere. Perfect for clandestine. I don't know uh, that I don't, word. I don't know. Fucking mm. clandestine. Clandestine. Maybe? I can't read. <laughs> Meeting in the dusky twilight. Clandestine? Clandestine. I don't know. Teen. Cl clandestine. Is it tine or teen? I'm Googling. I'm learning it's a word tine. today. It's clandestine. Clandestine. I like clandestine tine. better. Tane? I don't exactly know how the Okay, well, Google says about. clandestine, so. Clandestine. Chat's always Whatever. wrong. Like, I've had so many times where chat told me to pronounce something a certain way, and then it's wrong, so... They're it's trying, okay? Yeah, you're trying. It's tough. You know they what? can't. It's they don't tough. have voices. <laughs> I, I pronounce stuff wrong all the time too, so I get it. But I pronounce different stuff wrong. Well, we all learned something today, then. I thought it was teen. Um, it's clandestine. Google is never wrong. I think I owe that rat an apology. The rat seems to be unconscious. Oh, it's not dead. Damn it. I guess it would be a plot hole if if I couldn't go back four minutes if it died. But now that the room has changed into this, maybe I can use it somehow. Chu, what the fuck? Wait, what did you do? Chu gifted 10 subs to Yo! me. What the hell? Yo. Oh my god. Maybe we can get Thank a chat. You. Maybe we can get an offline hype train on no! twitch.tv slash C party. No, 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 no. Maybe no. we can. I don't know. No, no. That'd be awesome. <laughs> do not do this to me. No! I'm not a real streamer. Yo, uh, <laughs> shout out to Sea Party. Inconspicuous Raccoon, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you! 20 months, thank you! Oh Offline hype trains are real, by the way. They are real. I've seen it with my own eyes. Ooh, okay. So I have to use this chandelier to burn that candle somehow. But how? Hmm. I could use the dictionary to look up how to pronounce clandestine. <laughs> mm, the lady's dictionary. Wasn't this on our desk before? The poor thing, destined to never be returned to the bookshelves. Ooh. Oh. Oh! Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, Chu, thank you. What a naughty chandelier. <laughs> oh my god, dude, <laughs> crank it, girl. Okay, okay. 
Uh, okay. Wait, can you can you drop it while she's walking? I doubt. I mean, is it gonna knock her out or? I doubt it. Oh shit! <laughs> Such <laughs> insolence! <laughs> Damn! She really can't do it all, huh? Damn! Okay. All right, bitch. This lady is surprisingly quick. <laughs> She dodged that thing like a pro. I guess I'd better get serious here. Yeah, oh she's she's the fucking final boss. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Slay. Uh, all right, well, uh, let me try swinging this thing harder. I guess. Is there a way I could? Oh shoot, I don't know. Turn knob. Well, uh, try turning the knob on her desk thing and see what happens. Hmm. Is it insolence or insulation? Whatever. I'll look it up tomorrow. Um, I think you were on to something, just had bad timing. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like she's unbeatable. I gotta work around her. Billy the Fair, thank you so much for the resub. Thank I you! Also, I I'll say it again. I, I don't remember this... I feel like I, from I know, like I know. now. Well, I'm saying from now to the end, anything I say, because I have played this. I played this years ago, chat. Um, but I I don't remember any of this part. The beginning of the game was very familiar, and now this is not. We're we're cooking together. It's okay. I better not put out the lamp right now. It will only pour oil on the flames of anger in this lady's heart. If I want to give him a. Uh, if I want to give Amelie a chance to use the telephone, I have to think of a way to... Excuse me. I have to think of a way to keep her mother out of the way. Yo, get her. Get her with the chandelier. Do you think I could really... Try. I mean, you got so close. I feel like you could... You Every time she started to walk away, I think you went back into the ghost screen. So, like, literally see if you can drop it the second she starts to walk away. Mm. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? It just doesn't work again, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. You're right. Let's crank it. Should probably say the same, say the same thing. Or... That was close! <laughs> okay. Dude, she can really throw it back. <laughs> Go. Oh, fuck. I've, if I could do it like dead center, maybe, but I doubt it. I don't know. Let me keep going. She, she's okay. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Amelie, Amelie, help me! Mama. Eh, eh, eh. Oh. Fucking dies. I'm sorry, Mama. I'm too dizzy. I can't get up. I'm afraid I can't help you right now. Wait, I'm, I'm doing the toad voice. I forgot. Oh. <laughs> Here's to the the weakness of my darling angel. That chandelier is on there tighter than her wedding band. <laughs> <laughs> she won't she won't be able to escape on her own. Jeez. Okay, well that's good. Now what? I recall the novelist said she didn't but like I it in the dark. That selfie you posted on Twitter is so good. Mm. You're Aww. so cute and good looking. What, what the heck? Follower, what the heck? Thank you. What the heck? That, that's very nice of you. And thank you for the biddy. Thank you. Um, follower, I agree. Th what? You can't. Anyway, if I recall, the novelist said she didn't <laughs> like the dark. I don't want her thrashing around any more than she is already. I better not put out this lamp right now. What happens if you light the lighter on the floor? It doesn't really have anything to light. I wonder mm. what it could do. How hard could the pendulum swing, even? Can you... I feel like that would've... If the rat was on there. The rat is what? fucking knocked out cold. Oh, wait. Uh, can you do anything to the chandelier? Like, can you reach it? No, uh -huh. but do you think if I crank it, it'll lift her up? <gasps> Try it. 
Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> what? What is going on here? Amelie, look, do you see this? Help me, please. Oh, sorry, I'm too sick. I can't get out of bed. My head is spinning, so I guess you'll just have to stay up there spinning, too. Ooh, okay. And now I can... Oh, I can burn brighter now. Oh, shit. But what's that gonna do? <gasps> do it. Okay. Do it. <laughs> Looks like Whoa. this lady won't be going anywhere for a while. <laughs> oh my god, her hair is gonna be set on fire. <laughs> now the little girl can call her father. The only trouble is, she can't reach it. I guess I'll have to deliver it to her. Goodness. Oh shit! She's swinging! Oh, that's right. The angle of those candles. I saw something very similar just recently, didn't I? Whoa! Oh, I lit the rat's tail! Oh, there you go. I got it. Ah, yes! This is insane. Of course, it all makes sense. Light the rat's tail on fire so that I can light the candle. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wh what in the world is going on here? <laughs> She's having a time. The madness. <laughs> Oh, goody. Excuse me a minute while I call Papa, okay, Mama? I'll only be a minute. <laughs> Don't you dare, Amelie! I won't have it! Get me down! So, I don't want to get her down, but what, what else should I be doing right now? Uh, go to the phone. Okay, well, I just check, I'm just checking. Right, right, go to the phone. Hello, Papa? Oh! <laughs> Amelie! Is that you? Of course it is, silly. What did you think? But I heard they said you were... Oh! <gasps> no, never mind. It's nothing. Silly old Papa. Happy birthday, Papa! Birthday? Oh, right. It was my birthday today, wasn't it? I'm sorry we couldn't celebrate tonight. Thanks to mean old Mama. Oh! <laughs> oh, your mean old mama. I meant your mother. What is she up to right now? Well, she certain she's certainly up all right. My stubborn mother is kind of tied up at the moment. Tied up? <laughs> Get me down! She needs to be taught a lesson for causing us so much trouble. No, Amelie. I'm the one who was wrong. Huh? Could you tell your mother I'm sorry? What do you have to be sorry about? I was just about to make a terrible mistake. Wha Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I've never seen him look like that before. What the fuck? But it's all right now. This is Ch G Giga Chad mode. Oh my but god. But it's all right now. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> You're still young. There's a lot I can't tell you right now. The job of a justice minister is very complicated, you see. Oh, okay. But just remember... You're always the most important thing to your mother and me. Did you do something naughty to your mother? If you did, I want you to apologize. I don't think I did anything, but okay, I'll apologize. That's a good girl. Okay, Papa, have a good night. I love you. I love you too, Amelie. Good night, sweetheart. Put those wrinkles back? You don't like it? Um, Mama? I'm sorry. My goodness, why the sudden change? I guess I was wrong about you. I didn't understand. Oh, Amelie. I thought, I thought all you ever did was write those weird novels. That makes me a little sad. Papa said the job of Justice Minister was complicated. Yes, your father's job is very, very complicated and difficult. That's why I couldn't talk to you about most of it. But you're right, I shouldn't treat you like such a little girl anymore. You're growing up after all. Aw. And I promise to stop calling your novels weird and try actually reading them. What? Oh, uh... 
Maybe you'd better wait until you're a little older for that. Uh, whatever. Whatever, mother. So, Amelie, if you're feeling a little more charitable toward your old mama, do you think you could let me down now? You know, I would love to do that, but I'm just feeling too dizzy and sick right now. Tonight, on this holiest of nights, my deadline. It looks like the only thing pressing on me will be this chandelier. Here's to Papa and Mama's darling angel. <laughs> All of a sudden, everybody is getting along again. It's such an abrupt change, I can't understand it. Is this what family is all about? In any case, the situation has changed dramatically now. I just hope the mysteries of me can be cleared up as quickly as the furrows on this minister's brow. I don't know where Camilla is, but at least now the justice minister's doubts are dispelled. I think I'll go back to his office, where everyone is waiting for the prison van. So can he call it off, or...? Is this a learning about Ohana Pog? The minister's family has now, uh, now has their smiles and harmony back, but Camilla is still in the hands of the kidnappers. I decided to go back to the justice minister's office. Surprisingly, the minister's brow is just as furrowed as ever. Quite unlike a father who just learned his daughter is safe, he seems to still be in the depths of despair. Oh no, he got his wrinkles back. Ugh. The atmosphere in this room is very different now. It seems to have an air of unfocused anxiety. I get the feeling something is something big is going to happen. I just found out that my daughter is safe. I'd like to express my gratitude. Thank you, thank you for my daughter's sake and for mine. Oh, just kicked him in the nuts again. No need to thank us, Mr. Minister. It was nothing. What did he do? <laughs> but one question. I can't help but notice. Your daughter is safe? And yet, you still look unhappy. How about a little smile for us? Oh! Of course, there is still the matter of the other kidnapping victim. Just turn on my desk lamp. Thank you for the pets. Thank you for petting my hair spike. But is that really the only thing that troubles you, Mr. Minister? Please let me think in peace until the prison van uh, arrives. Trick time. What do we got here? I wonder if Lynn is at the park yet. Until we get her report, I guess I'll just have to wait here. This continued distress of the ministers. Is there really something more to it, like the inspector in white said? Hmm. <laughs> What's Cavanella wiggling that little waist for? I don't know, men probably. Uh, what do we do? Let's talk to Can't... you. Oh, okay. Jowd. It seems to me the minister uh, has some kind of big problem on his mind. Why don't you try talking to him instead of me? I don't even think he's ready to acknowledge my existence yet. He's an anxious fellow, yes, but I bet he knows when to accept the truth. Would his face be so furrowed otherwise? What does one have to do with the other? True. The wrinkles on his face. Hello, <sighs> Justice Minister. Oh. How about you finally admit I do exist? Mom. That thank you I expressed. That was meant for you. <gasps> You're a ghost, aren't you? You have the power to control and manipulate people, don't you? No, I don't have that kind of power. I can't control you. We've actually known, you know, for quite a while now. But I had no idea they were the powers of the dead, of ghosts. Known? Known about what? We knew about the existence of somebody who could control others. A manipulator. <gasps> What's this? That's Aww. why your execution order caused me so much anguish, Detective Jowd. Mr. Minister. Why don't you just tell us everything you know? Yes, I, I suppose I should. You need to hear it all. All about the huge mistake that foolish man made. What? 
What the hell? What about the what about his other wrinkles? You mean you mean his balls? What are you talking about? What kind of wrinkles? <clears throat> anyway, what about his otter wrinkles? Oh, 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 my mistake. I, I, I read that wrong. I read that wrong, sorry. How did Chester do on the seesaw puzzle? The one always has the mo That one was the most fun. Seesaw puzzle? Seesaw puzzle? I vaguely remember a seesaw, but I'm trying to place it. I think that was oh, last time. Oh, the one with the pills? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, with the knight and the, and the, whatever, like the watermelon or, or whatever. Um, yeah, with the globe. That's what it was. Fuck, was there a melon somewhere? I don't know. It was, mm -hmm, it was good. I like that one. It wasn't too bad, I think. I was like, they're gonna say balls and I was right. I mean, if you say, if you say, what about his other wrinkles? I don't know what else you mean. There's no other wrinkly part of your body. It's like when Sandy from Spongebob says Spongebob doesn't have hair, or does he? <laughs> like, what did or she mean by that? Or does he? <laughs> or does he? Ugh. And that's how they got me to think about Spongebob's pubes. Everything is always a Spongebob reference or a Spongebob quote, I swear to God. I got Spongebob on the brain. We're talking about, was it you that said something about advanced darkness the other day? Uh, yeah, that was me. Yeah, and then yesterday I made an advanced darkness reference. <laughs> I was it's, like, Fuck. it's always it, it always comes back to SpongeBob. It does. Chester Ugh. has a wrinkly nose. No, I do not have a wrinkly nose. I got a wrinkly Ew. nose. Anyway, Behave what's this yourself. about a manipulator? There are some cases in this country right now that are under a top secret investigation. Of course, you wouldn't have known about them, Detective Jowd. Right, they don't share too much top secret information with the inmates in prison. There are three prisoners, including you, in the special prison you just escaped from. All three cases have a certain have certain points in common. They do, do they? Tell us more. The rock singer who leaked national secrets in his lyrics during a TV broadcast. Oh no, not this guy. <laughs> The curry-loving fellow who took the chief commissioner hostage at the Metro Police Department. Neither of these men had a motive for their crime, and most of their crimes were impossible. Impossible? The curry lover had no way of knowing how to infiltrate, infiltrate the commissioner's office, and the rock singer had no way of knowing the national secrets he leaked. The special investigation unit submitted an investigative report to me on them. They concluded that these men's criminal acts were not of their own volition. But how could that be? The theory the unit came up with was the existence of a manipulator. Huh? <laughs> That's when the special prison was established as a facility to research that theory. It's hard to say that. It's hard to say manipulator really fast. <laughs> Jowd's case. Some unknown power had been at work. These past several years, Inspector Cabanella has been studying these cases. He has, has he? Manipulating somebody through committing a criminal act, according to the inspector. <laughs> the first case of its kind was in a uh, was a locked room murder involving our nation's best detective. Are you trying to say that I was manipulated somehow into shooting Alma? I appreciate the theory, but unfortunately, I don't recall being controlled by anybody. It's not possible to manipulate another's behavior like that. My powers certainly don't work on living creatures. That's what I thought when I heard the theory, too. However, I was seriously mistaken, and it proved to be a big mistake. What? Hmm. Wait. You mentioned a mistake. Could you tell us about it? Hmm. I suppose everyone here has the right to know. All right, fine. I'll speak, I'll speak out loud so Inspector Cabanella can hear this, too. Hmm. They're all just having like mind conversation, like yeah. making eyes at each other, and Kevin is like looking between them, like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> There's something I'd like the two of you to hear about a mistake I made. What? Inspector Cabanella, when you first made that report about a manipulator, I'm afraid I didn't believe it at all. Impossible, I thought. 
perfectly understandable, Mr. Minister. But I was wrong. That kind of power does exist. And I... I learned the truth of that firsthand. What's this? <laughs> A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Jowd's execution. However, that act wasn't of my own volition. I was being... Controlled. Oh! What? You never told me about this, Mr. Minister. Uh. Whoa. What's going on? Th this document, what am I doing? No, I mustn't sign it. Is he lying or is this what actually happened? Wait, don't deliver that document! Nah, he said don't! Why are you going? <laughs> That's when it started. That's when all of my fear, despair, and suffering began. And wrinkles. <sighs> fear, fear, despair, despair and, and suffering. suffering. <laughs> what the heck? Who can control him like that? At the time, I didn't even, it didn't even cross my mind that I had been manipulated, and my memory of the event has, was only hazy at best. Mm, so the memory of, of being manipulated doesn't clearly remain, huh? Signing execution orders is part of a justice minister's job. At the time, I just thought my psyche was rebelling against the task. But the next day, it dawned on me. I remember Inspector Cabanella's report on the existence of a manipulator. As a minister of justice, I couldn't admit what had happened to me. Whoa. I only signed the execution order because I was being controlled. If something like that got out, the nation's judicial system would crumble. Besides, I had no evidence to present that I actually had been controlled. So, in the end, I couldn't admit to anybody what had happened. Hmm, I suppose, but it does... It, but it sounds a bit like an excuse. You should have at least told us, Mr. Minister. Yes, yes, I know. I should have. I was running away from the problem. Whoa. Oh. And then my wife found out I was worried about something. Well, if you go around with an expression like that, I guess it's bound to happen. I explained, to her th I explained it to her, and she was dead set against the way I was handling it. Oh. Uh, I guess that's her. If you don't withdraw that order and tell everyone the truth immediately, I'm moving out. Oh. And then, with the kidnapping tonight, with it thrust under my nose like that, I could no longer deny my mistake. Whoa. This manipulator comes upon us from somewhere unseen. That's why I've been keeping my distance from everybody. So that's why you've been telling people to stay back. So there is somebody else besides me with the powers of the dead. I'm fine with that. After all, I already knew about a certain desk lamp. Oh yeah! What I'm not fine with is the fact that somebody can control and manipulate living creatures. That's certainly not something I can do. Whoa, apparently different ghosts get different ghost tricks. Whoa. He said the name of the game! He said the thing. He said the thing. But I never imagined that tonight I would find out there was uh, where this power comes from. Where does it come from? Inspector Cabanella, this manipulator is a ghost. A departed spirit. A spirit? <laughs> As a matter of fact, there's a ghost talking to us right now. Whoa. What did you say? Jout! Don't tell me you can hear this ghost too. Uh, I'd say the only person who can't hear the hear him is you, and that guard. Uh, spirit, ghost, gods in heaven. Excuse me, Mr. Minister. I suddenly have some urgent business to attend to. I recommend you think long and hard before making your final decision, sir. <sighs> oh, Inspector! He's get falling out of there. I wonder whose side he's really on. 
This is Lin. I'm at the park. I've, we've been waiting for to hear from you. Have you found the evidence? Well, uh, the situation here is... It's kind of difficult to explain. Cecil, if you're there, come to the park immediately! Chris forgot the uh, vine boom when, when they said ghost trick. Sorry, I got, I got it again. <laughs> Bruh. Oops, that's not, that's not it. That, oh, shit, that's not it either. <laughs> oh, fuck, that, was, fuck, that wasn't it. Yeah, I lost. I lost it. I don't have it anymore. It looks like your help is needed, Cecil. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Ooh. <sighs> I guess I'll just go. Wait, where is she? The park. Oh, oh yeah. Lynn calls and I oblige. I take off towards Tempsick Park. The place where, clearly, something big is taking place. Clearly! The manipulator. The person whose very existence sheds new light on everything. Detective Jowd's crime, the execution orders, and even my own death. Bruh. Could it be? Could Lin have been manipulated into shooting me? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe, well, I, I mean, I saw, I saw the video of Sissel telling Lynn to shoot, so I feel like maybe, maybe not, or maybe, dun, dun, dun. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Ooh, I have no 14. idea. Holy cow, chapter 14. 1.28 p.m., Tempsick Park, the site of the little lady Camilla's abduction tonight, and the place where an important piece of evidence, the music box, was hidden. Among Us. Uh. I wonder why our lady detective is looking so dejected. At least she isn't dead. But what did she find? Whoa. Did I say p.m.? Uh, I meant a.m. A.m. Am? Am. Or f f oh, <laughs> Are you, you doing okay? How's your tummy? <laughs> it still hurts. No! Shit, I'm sorry. I think we need more frat boy praise in chat. Or more gift subs on uh, twitch.tv slash party. No, no, no. That uh, was... You're, yes, you're welcome, Danger. Huh? I, I think about that all the time. What's he doing here? Wait, I don't know. The, wait, what reference? La la la, let me spend a moment's time with you, my love. Uh, the world will not life. end. Oh. Zach and Cody reference. Oh, shit. A little late. It's already <laughs> ice cold. Thank God his head isn't super long. La la whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't mind. Basketball globe climber boot. Let's spin the boot off. Ooh, I got this thing spinning pretty fast. I didn't even put much effort into it. This is quite a bit of power and speed for a piece of playground equipment. I can just imagine all the poor kids who get sent flying all over the park. Woo! Hell yeah. Death trap. Wait, so... What does spinning it fast do? Wait, there's some dialogue here. What just happened? I, w I wasn't even pumping my feet. <laughs> mm, the swinging swings me and I sling the chicken. The, sling the swing is swung and the chicken is slung. Everything always comes back to chicken in the end. I hate his nose. I'm not even going to try to figure that one out. Moving on. <laughs> Leaflet. Leaflet. Love letter. Ooh. What? We don't even get to read it. I'm late again. Yo, welcome, welcome, Great Cadence. Oh, yeah, I can't read. 
You forget how to read when you die. Hmm. Wait, the, it, did it actually say PM? That that must be an error. It, it should be AM. Rugby ball. What the heck? What am I supposed to do? Baseball, seesaw. That's two seesaws in this game. Hello, Lynn. All right. Oh, there you are, Cecil. From your dejected expression, I gather you didn't find what you were looking for. Right. I can't find the music box anywhere. I love this theme. This, uh, this yeah, it's, music it's theme. hers. Yeah. It's so good. But I found something else instead. Something horrible. Horrible? What is it? Whoa. What the fuck? There, in the grass. You'd better see for yourself. What the? Oh, he's dead? Oh, shit. It looks like a dead body. <laughs> I nearly died when I saw it. And I suppose now that we've found it, we can't just leave it there, can we? Nope, I suppose not. I'm just, I'm just out here doing good deeds. I mean, this guy's got nothing to do with me. Or does he? Well, let's go inside his head. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park, the rock of the gods! You there! You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you! Leaflets I know you'll be very interested in. I urge you to pursue it, th peruse it thoroughly, examine it in detail. Never mind that right now. Do you, you remember your name? My name? My name. What does my name matter when there are more important things to worry about? Okay. Come now and study these tracks with me, my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me. The night is no longer young, as a matter of fact. Daybreak is approaching, but we are young. Mm, look, I don't have time to get involved in your way of life. <laughs> in your frat boy questioning way of life. But I am interested in your way of death. So let's go back. Back to four minutes before your death. I don't even think he knows he's dead. He doesn't know where he is. Alright. Four minutes before death. And so I made up my mind. I resolved to live here in this park and defend it. Wait a minute. The when it said four minutes before death, it said like 8:20 p.m. That's gotta be a mistake, right? Oh, I don't know. It was straight up said I like 8:25 p.m. What the heck? This port's all well, janked up. Uh, I don't know if it was ever specified how long a core is there. Oh, so we're going back, like, really far. Wait, that's interesting. I never thought about that. As long as it's, like... You can... Whoa, but then that changes, like, the past, like... Wait, what? What the heck? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we did go back really far. Wait, that means... What the heck? That means we're gonna change so much about the present if he... I mean, who knows how much we're gonna change. Probably not a lot, but I feel like the potential to change a lot <clears> is there. <throat> Mm -hmm. What the heck? <sighs> uh, hmm. Okay, and what does that have to do with this rock of the gods you mentioned? You still don't appear to understand! It's written quite clearly in the fourth leaflet in great detail! Excuse me, but I have to use the restroom. Well... He ain't got no shoes. Ah! Oh. Eek! 
I'm coming! Just hold on! I'll be right there! I've located the target, beauty. A girl of the right age coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. Gross. <laughs> yes, my dear. I'll, I'll, I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. Good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? Eek! Oh, gods, what do I do? What should I do? I have to do something! Whoa. Shit. Whoa! Huh? Huh? Oh my god. What the fuck? Whoa. What the hell? What the fuck just happened? Yo, Ron, hi! Whoa! Ron. Whoa! It was Ron the whole time! Uh. Oh my god. What just happened? Uh, I don't know if that's Mino or Mino. Mino? Mino? My, Mino? I guess Mino. Many help. Or Mino. Okay. M Mino? Oh, it's Mino. The Mino. Okay. That's Mino. <laughs> okay. Mino. <laughs> Mino, the mascot, the symbol of Temsic Park. Forget about the name of that big creepy lump of concrete. I'm talking about the way it changed direction. Did you see that? Yes, yes, I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes. The power of the rock of the gods. That was the power of the gods. The power of the gods saved that little girl. And then that same power very deliberately crushed you instead. Yes, yes, precisely. That is called the mischief of the gods. Was it the mischief of the gods or was it a ghost trick? But nah, I couldn't have been a ghost. It couldn't have been a ghost trick. No ghost trick could change the direction of something that heavy in midair. But wait a minute. What if there was somebody with much greater powers than me? Bruh. Whoa. Well, so I, I didn't like change anyone's. No, I, I am changing their fate. Because he just died. Oh! Look at that. There's another flame besides mine. Ooh, so that is the flame of a god, is it? But hold on. Your spirit is a flame too, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so? Uh, pardon me, but... Are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. At the last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge <laughs> swing to one side. That was probably that flame's doing. Who could it be? I definitely believe it's either a god or somebody god-related. Mm. Maybe I'd better try talking to this person. Whoa, I feel like I'm just gonna meet like a super fucking scary guy. This guy's a murderer. What the? This person with much greater powers than me? It, it's, it's you? Hey! What? Is this so? What? What the fuck? <laughs> no way. Wait a minute. I gotta get... I gotta get Missile back. I gotta get the Missile Redeem back. This all I, just re I just remembered that I modified my... My Chirby Redeem to... I basically related. spent seven hours of my life making a massive L. Hell yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Just moving my dashboard back. <laughs> oh my, it's... Missile! You look well for being dead. Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did it! I tried really hard and I did it! I saved Miss Camilla! I want horn. 
Are you telling me I was done in by a puppy dog? Missile, what's going on? How did you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked! After Miss Camilla went out and you left. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I worked like crazy to make my own path, and I did it! I want to be the broccoli and cheese of streamers. Yo! And then I followed Miss Camilla out into the big wide world! And then, here at this park, I found her at last! Yes, you guessed it! I barked! You bet I did! And I went running after her, too! If you lose the Pocky game, your head explodes. No! <laughs> no! no! Uh... And then, I guess I died. And then, I was unconscious for a little while. When I came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camilla. Crushed under that big, scary lump. Oh, oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Thank Please forgive so me. Miss Camilla! I had to rescue Miss Camilla. It was up to me. I cried out from the depths of my heart. And then... Whoa. I can't tell you how surprised I was, but I bet you understand, right? Better than anybody else probably could. And then I remembered what you did for me and how you saved me. So... Come with me if you want to shart. You went back, right? To four minutes before the lady's death? You bet I did! Hmm. Green powers! <laughs> Yes, my dear, I'll be ever so gent I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> funny one funny that he gets shoved. Now's my chance, I thought. I saw the core. I don't know, it looks pretty far. I stretched out my paw towards the core. Oh, how I felt at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, Sissel, go ahead and try it for yourself. What? What the fuck? I can't believe it. How could you connect over such a great distance? Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing. Hmm. And so then you manipulated that Mino thing and threw it aside? Right on top of my head. Well, uh, actually, no. Huh? I can't manipulate things like you can, Sissel. You can't? Then how did you... I didn't know what to do. Then it, I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. And it had a core, too. Whoa. Whoa. A single leaf hanging from the tree. I tried reaching out to the leaf. What in the world? I can't manipulate things, but apparently I can swap them. As long as the two things have the same shape, that is. Swap things with the same shape? Go ahead, try it! Press swap! What the fuck? What? Anime that's, doesn't exist in England. That's incredible! <laughs> and so that's how you saved your mistress, is it? And that's how I became caught up in this, is it? I'm very sorry! My powers were too meager. Meager? Because, you see, I saw one more. I happened to notice one more core. There was something with the exact same shape stuck in the branches of a tree. Hey, you're right. If Mino could be swapped again with that... 
then disaster would have to rain down, wouldn't have to rain down on my head. Wow. But what is that thing? It's too big to be a leaf. Whatever it is, I'd much prefer it on my head than Mino. Maritza Rugby Ball, yo! Scout, thank you so much for the resub. How Scout. are you? Yo! Yo! 28 months, thank you so much. How are you? How have you been? Wow. Really appreciate it. Howdy, howdy! I have been described as a smug baby in months. my day-to-day -day life. Hmm. So why didn't you swap the missile? I couldn't. I can stretch out my paw a little further than you can, Sissel. But this was just too far for me. I couldn't reach. Hmm. So I, I have to manipulate something to be in between. Working on a new VTuber. Yo, that's Ooh. awesome. Holy cow. Yo, I'm excited. I must admit, it's a fascinating spectacle of a death, if I do say so myself. I kept retrying over and over, seeing if there was anything I could do. I bet there's something you can do now. Huh? If we work together, you and me... Sizzle, you think so? I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. Do you think you could help me? Of course! Naturally! So, we're going to drop that Mino thing in a different spot. Alright, let's try it. Let's go back again to four minutes before. Oh, thank I you, Scout. I'm just tired and old. Alright, let's get started. Four minutes from now, you'll swap Mino with the leaf. And then you'll have to swap Mino with something else. Something with the same shape. Oh, I believe that's a rugby ball. Okay, rugby ball, huh? But with the rugby ball where it is now, Missile can't reach it. So that means I have to move it closer somehow. It looks like you and I will have to work together on that one, Missile. Okay, I'm ready. Whenever you want to use my swap trick, just press V. Oh, shit. Fourth wall. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that way, you'll be able to control me. And then, if you press keyboard button, Control will come back to me. Okay, let's try it. Together, we can stop Mino from hurting anybody. Okay. All right, Missile. Your powers are key this time. Okay, I'm ready. I can swap anything that has the same shape. Just call on me if you find anything you want to try. All right, the best thing to do is try a bunch of things and see how it goes. And if I see something we can swap, I should use V. All right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Things with the same shape? Well. Meh. Uh, what the heck? Things with the same shape. Yeah, like... so like a circle with a circle. Okay. Or... Like, okay, so, okay, 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 okay. So it's like, I gotta get there, and, like, missiles gotta get there. Oh my goodness. I got it. Ah, nah, get away. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wait, but how do I do the swap? You have to link it to something else that has this shape. Oh, got so, it, got it, got it, got it. Let me do this again. Ah. What? What the heck? Why did it move that? back. What? Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm still digesting this new mechanic. It's okay. You gotta... I was gonna say, can you swap between them while in the ghost screen, or can you only do it in the real time? Shit. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I don't know, I... So go to ghost. Yeah. Q. Now, 
I, I want to no. do the seesaw, right? Yeah, but he, yes. Now, there you go. Oh, got it. I gotta be really careful about aiming this properly. It's kind of hard to... <laughs> it's kind of hard to, like, get it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so, yes. Then that's how that has to work. I feel like that would have maybe done something different if he jumped on the seesaw while the tire was there. You know what I mean? Oh, maybe the... Oh. I, don't, I don't think that does anything. I... Well, not now, because he's about to die. Yeah. I think it's too late. But Let me you just... saw the baseball go up. And... The baseball went up? The baseball got launched when he jumped on the seesaw. Right, right, right. Uh... I think you have to start over. Yeah, I just want to see if there's, like, other things that are the same shape that I can fuck with. Probably not. Look at this funny flattened ball! It's the same shape as that horrible Mino. But it's too far for to swap from here. Even this ball is starting to look horrible to me. Hmm, we have to find a way to get this ball closer to that Mino thing. Knock it down from the tree, I say! You can control it with the mouse? Oh shit, really? Oh fuck. Let me try that. Well, he's gonna die. Oh god. Yep, he's dead. Sizzle, help! There's nothing in reach to swap Mino with! We're too late! Darn. I guess we'll have to start over again. But I wanna see if um Oh yeah, wait, I can I can I can click and drag. Okay, I didn't that'll even know probably that make, this that'll probably make time. this a little easier. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, I think him jumping on the seesaw is important. Hmm. So, definitely the right track with what you were trying to do before. Shit, he comes in like so fast. Yeah, I don't think you need a lot of time to do what you're trying to do. Okay, um. But he... Okay, so he jumps on the seesaw and the ball mm -hmm. comes up. Correct. And then I should swap it, it when it's midair? No, you should swap it before he jumps. So that he launches it. Like this? Yes. Because he causes the ball to launch. Right, right, you, You're right, trying to right. knock the thing out of the tree. Right, right. So... Though... You can also swap the tire with the basketball, right? Like, that's because that's another circle, because I think the tire might be too heavy. True, true. I didn't think about that. I am Roblox. I don't think I can reach from here. Oh, well, maybe I... No, I can't. It has to be like... Can you move this seesaw now? Oh, hang on. Um... I guess I have to, like, get out of the way. Like, I have to, like, empty out so, the tire. No, move the seesaw. Yeah, but, um, so I, could, I couldn't, I couldn't reach. Basketball. Oh, wait, no, I, I, can't, I am the seesaw. I thought I had to be on that side for whatever reason. Hmm. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. So let me actually go back into the thing. No, I don't want to swap. I just want to move into it. Oh, do I have to? Let's do it like this. Um, Our forces are under right. attack. Whoa! Blight Von Drake, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? What were you playing? Bloons TD6? How was it? Yo! I hope the balloons got popped. Uh, welcome, welcome, raiders. We are playing uh, Ghost Trick. We're in chapter, I think, 14. And we just got the power to swap objects of the same shape. 
Uh, yo, those balloons popping. Yo, what's popping? Yeah. What's popping? Balloons? It's been fantastic. Yo, that's so good to hear. Welcome, welcome, raiders. All right, I'm cooking right now. We're we're cooking really hard. Okay. Now, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Should I? I think we're good. Yeah. I think we wait now. Let me see what this dialogue is. Whew! Here you come already. I swore to myself not to repeat my mistakes. Mistakes? When somebody's in trouble, you should lend them a hand. Otherwise, you'll definitely regret it. And now the recklessness of youth has taken over, giving me lightning fast speed. Hmm. Oh, mm. that's you. Sorry. I've been thinking. If we could stop this man from running, maybe he would wouldn't get squished? It won't be easy to stop me once the recklessness of youth has taken over. Mm, stop him, huh? Let me see what happens here. Oh, can you... Wait, go into ghost. Yeah. Can you stop the thing from spinning? <laughs> uh... Well, I guess wait till it turns again. Shit. Welp. Oh, fuck. Shit, shit. shit yeah, I totally shit. missed it. <laughs> what do you think of my lightning fast pace? I wish you would knock it off. That's what I think. We don't have time <laughs> to prepare. I think we're going to have to find a way to stop him from running. As far as I can see, the only way to do that is to use the playground equipment. The what? You know, the seesaw, the swing, those things. Precisely, except there's one more piece of equipment to be exact. Stop him with the equipment. Maybe I should rethink things. Okay, um, we have to restart. Well, what could I have done? Do you remember how you made the that that round that thing you spin before? Yeah. I'm sure you could make it stop. Do you really think so? I feel like he's propelling it forward with his like body weight and stuff. Never say never. All right, we'll try it. I don't know. I, I, mm. Mm. We'll try it. I don't. I'm not. Hmm? Maybe not the basketball. It didn't go high enough. Yeah, it didn't. But but the tire's definitely too heavy. Stuff you but maybe. But would maybe it stop keep him? Maybe it on the seesaw. And yeah, see what it might stop him from running. Subbies. Yo, Patso, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Twenty-one months. Holy cow. Um. Okay. Um. We can see the mouse on the screen, by the way. I, I, I have to do that, because no. I realized you can drag from the mouse. See? Um, okay, so... Is there something you can do in the tree? There's there's stuff in the tree, but it's, like, too far, and you can't really do anything with it, at least right now. You have to move, Sissel. Or else you're going to just keep backselling talking to Sissel. <laughs> so, we did you say that we should try maybe... Leaving the thing here? Leaving the, what? The tire? Yeah, try it. Let me just see what happens. I wonder if it's possible. Oh. I wonder if... When... It... Okay, so now see if you can get in there. It, can, it only spins it way harder. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't see this coming. Don't you know the first thing about the globe climber? Huh? Even little children treat it with the respect it deserves. He's having so much fun. Like, look at him over here. <laughs> they know that unless you spin it gently, there's no stopping it. Yeah, it does look pretty dangerous. It looks like I'm just destined to fly through the air like this for a while. 
Hmm. This might just buy us some time. Maybe he'll just keep spinning around like that the whole four minutes. I'm sorry, but I don't think I would stand uh, stand for it that long. At least we stopped him from running for, uh, for a while. Let's do what we can to ha while we have the chance. I, 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 I wonder if he... If he jumped... Oh. Hmm. I was gonna say, if he jumped on the seesaw and the ball got launched, if you were in the ball, when he launches it, could you reach the tree? But also, you could probably reach the tree now if you go from the boot. No, I, I, can, I can reach the tree. Like, we've totally been up here before, and we've looked at this and done this, and none, none of it really seems to matter. <gasps> the umbrella? I guess the umbrella. But we already- we, we were already up here, that's how we got around. Wait, you ever thought? Oh, that was so close! If it hit the ball, it could have knocked it down! Is that all this umbrella can be used for? For knocking the rugby ball down? <sighs> don't forget about my powers! And don't forget about my reckless let run power of you! <laughs> Is there something that matches its shape? Can it catch something? While it's open? Oh, like a ball? Maybe. It could knock the branch down. So maybe... Because I still think the tire definitely isn't going to move, but the basketball, I think, goes high enough. Hmm. It's got to be it, right? I think so. Like, there's nothing else I can do right now. I could try spinning it really hard again to buy some time. <laughs> weird man. Nope, he's already gone. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's gotta what? it's gotta be oh. the tire then. I, I guess. Him. Wow, I so did not see that coming. I never thought the umbrella would catch the ball. Did you see that? The tree branch it shook a little. I think I saw it shake too. If I, if it only shook a little more, it would knock that terrible. Yeah, terrible. I get it. 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 It needs one more step. I do feel like if the tire were on the seesaw, <gasps> it wouldn't go up. Right. Wait. Oh, wait. Unless I swap wait, 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 it. Wait, 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 wait. Is that missile in the ball right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to get the tire back out. I've got to get the baseball back on the seesaw, and then I got to swap it out like now, right? Because the tire's too heavy to, to catapult in the air to land on the umbrella. But if I get the baseball, like, if I get the, but, oh, no, 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 I, I need the baseball on the. Wait, I don't want to do this. I want. I need to get the. I need to get the tire and the baseball swapped. Well, uh, oh my god. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, instead of swapping with the... <sighs> fuck. Well, I needed the basketball out there, right? And I then... think the basketball can reach that high, yes. But I was going to say, now from the tree, he can reach the rugby ball. But now the problem is we can't reach the thing <laughs> still from the tree. How do I get the this thing back out? I really can't. Right? Like, I, I, I feel like... We had to have somehow swapped the baseball with the basketball. Not the tire. Because the tire needs to be out there because it's heavy and so we need. Let me think about this. I'm using my brain. Brain blast time. <sighs> Yeah, I, I'm gonna wing it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Let me cook. Okay, Let me cook. Okay, Let me cook. Okay. I'm cooking. I'm, I'm cooking. You. Okay. Okay. I got it. I, f I got it so figured out. It's crazy. Check it out. Boop. Boop. Open the dumpster. 
dumps go in the dumpster. Seems like the baseball is actually like already in a position to be swapped with the basketball. Oh shit. Right? Well maybe we just do that. Unless it's gonna okay. like Okay. Maybe then this is Ooh! Okay. And then, I, and then I go back. So So now when when you get the basketball into the umbrella in the tree, you'll be able to reach Yeah, I'll I'll be able the to reach to the tire. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. But you just I just got to get Sissel over to the other side. I realize. So. How did I get Sissel over there before? So you got to roll the ball. But missile has to be not in the basketball. Oh shit. It's so heavy I can't move it. Oh shit. Oh, okay. maybe just move yeah, yeah I, I got it. I'll just do it in a really specific order. Mm -hmm. Um, meanwhile, I think you can maybe just, just live here for now. Um, yeah, that's fine. Here he comes. <laughs> got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So all I got to do now is... This. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and then... Uh, it, he has to start spinning it. Okay. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Where you at? There you are. Spin it really hard. Then... Oh wait, is it spinning fast yet? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. It just took some time. Whoa, that was crazy. I feel like I was like <laughs> outside my body for a sec. <laughs> All right. Um. Whoa. Okay. Uh, and then I think you just yeah. Wait. I'll, I'll wait in here. I, know, I feel like I, I feel like I'd be more comfortable. Well, let me just wait here for now. I'll say when it stops, I think you can get down because the the way that the boot will face. Yeah. If need be. Okay. Now. Ugh. There it is. We moved the ball. What do you think, Missile? Hmm, with the ball there. I think I can do it. In just a few seconds, you'll swap Mino with the leaf. And then, from there, you can swap Mina one more time. The final moment is near, Missile. Are you ready? You bet! Whoa. So I just wait? I feel like Missile did all the swapping stuff, like, automatically. Unless I gotta actually do it. I... I... Well, I, it's gonna start to drop. So... You, you gotta wait till the big thing starts to drop, if anything. Yeah, but do I have to be, like, in the Mino? Because last time I... when we failed, it moved, okay. like, as part of the scripted cutscene. So then just let it go. I don't know, it still scares me after all that. I mean... It... Okay. Yeah, it's scripted, I guess. Whoop! Okay, watch me, Sissel. Here I go. The finishing touches. You can do it, Missile. Swap Mino with the ball. Blip. Oh. Ugh. There. How's that? My head has been spared. 
Truly, that was a try worthy of the gods. And now Mino is right where he belongs. We did it again, didn't we? Didn't we? <laughs> so cute. Now nobody has to die. Except for one brave little somebody. Huh? I'm talking about you, Missile. Oh, me? I guess you're right. I'm still dead, aren't I? So now let's go back and save your life. Wait a minute. What is it? Now that I think about it, I think I want to stay dead a little longer. Why? Wha? What? When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Camilla when she was in trouble. I want to be able to protect Miss Camilla. And to do that, I need these powers I have now. I see. Perfectly understandable. No! Even I wish I had powers like that. That means... Isn't there a website called, like, Does, Does the, the dog, dog die? die? That means yeah. the dog has to die. <laughs> That's fucked up. No. No! Oh, well. If they brought Missile back to life, would that not lead to Camilla's death? Yeah, true. Like, they couldn't... Mm. Yeah, that that would... Yeah. Oh. No! Hey, we just saved you. Don't wish your life away already. Oh, of course you're right. Okay, Missile, have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth, there's a certain detective who needs that music box you found. When we get back to the present time, could you give it to her? Certainly you have my word. Let's go back then to the present. He's a nice dude. The park guy. He's a good guy. He's just so strange. He just That's cares okay. a lot. He cares a lot about the environment. And the rock god. And the rock god. And so, Camilla ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lynn listened to my story without saying anything. I'm sorry. I wish there was something else we could have done. No, you did the best you could. I'm sure she's alright, after all. After all, she has me! Oh my god. Missile, are you in there? I'm dead. Miss Lynn, leave Miss Camilla to me. I know I don't look like much right now. But I'm sure I can help her. Missile. No. Shit. I'm going to leave it up to Missile. Stop talking about Twinku. It kind of looks like Missile is being left up to the wind. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm just like picturing like a little like I don't know, like Mr. Krabs walking sound or some kind yeah. of like twinkling noise or something. Yeah, I have something to give you. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park with the rock of the gods. Aren't you forgetting your promise? Oh, pardon me, pardon me. My apologies, this is for you. Oh, 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 thank you. Uh, oh. <laughs> I was so surprised I said oh. <laughs> you kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you. <laughs> Not at all. I was only doing what the rock of the gods would have wanted. <laughs> Shit. He's an atheist now. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? He's mesmerized by my beauty. Mm. <laughs> hey! The cat's not allowed to cat to get your tongue. Excuse me, but are you? No, it couldn't be. Have we met before? Aren't you? Aren't you? That little girl from that time? 
I'll never forget it. It was 10 years ago in this park. Whoa, what? Lore, what? 10 years ago? Uh, are you talking about... Whoa. What? Dumpster lid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta read their thoughts. Here in this park, the gods surely control fate. Today, 10 years from that day, we meet once again. If that isn't the power of the gods, then what else is it? It could just be coincidence. But apparently, you know our lady detective here. Could you tell us about it? What happened 10 years ago? Yes, yes, of course. I was actually about to do just that. Rock of the gods. <laughs> What's this rock of the gods you keep mentioning? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us. Me know. Oh. Uh. No. Missile. Wait a minute. You say... <laughs> G-O-D-S. Do you mean D-O-G-S? Of course not! Don't be silly. This is no time for ridiculous word games. You are standing just above the Rock of the Gods now. Take a good look at that monument. Monument? Hmm. Rock of the Gods, Tempsic Park. The Rock of the Gods? What? The rock is buried in the ground right there. It's been there these ten years. What? Ever since that day it flew down from the heavens and showed us a miracle. A miracle? What? Magical meteorite? So this rock you've been talking about is a meteorite? Precisely! It dropped from the sky on that day ten years ago. Yes, of course. I belong to the people now. Surely you know all about it. Me? I'm sorry, this scene has so much no, you. No, <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. I'm sorry. I can always take over if you want. Nope. You didn't let me read for you last time. You're not reading for me this yeah, time. Yeah, but you're tummy hort right now. I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Yo, okay, shout out to Allie, to by the way, who's trying so hard and being so brave, even though her tummy hort. You can't tell me what to do. Shout out, uh, twitch.tv slash cparty. Oh my god. Um... Ten years ago. That day, I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that day would change my destiny. The sun was going down and through the gloom. I heard the scream of a little girl. I'm adding the, the fucking... Oh, um. Eek! <laughs> I was doing the, you know, I'm, I'm, it's immersion. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. I peeked out fearfully from the bushes and saw some shadowy figures. I didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I knew I should have, I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. The tension was so thick, it was painful. Just when I couldn't stand it any longer. That's when it happened. The sky suddenly burned bluish white. Whoa. What? You're crying. When it crashed into the ground, yeah, I was crying about a uh, missile. Missile being dead, so sad. <laughs> When it crashed into the ground, the meteorite gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. And then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments pierced into the criminal's back. Oh my god, and imbued him with, like, ungodly powers. No, it's not, it's not the end of the game, Nova, no. <laughs> not there yet. The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day. Ten years ago. Oh, that's you, sorry. Ten years ago! <laughs> <laughs> the 
little girl that was you was saved by the rock of the gods. Oh my, I can't believe it. The rock of the gods was given the name Temsic. And still today, it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. Whoa. I, I never knew about this Temsic. I always thought Detective Jowd was the one who saved me. You were very young then, and you passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember. But that's funny. A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. It's, it's strange that you never heard of it, Lin. It, it is, isn't it? But now that I think about it, I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news, and I never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know anything about it. The meteorite was named Temsic after the name of the park that it fell in. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. Now an awful thing is happening! They're talking about turning the park into a housing site. I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day. And so I've taken up residence in the park and I'm trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park, the rock of the gods! That is my mission. I see it. Whoa. I'm taking you with me, Missile. I'm sad again. <laughs> so, ten years ago, the little girl that was Lynn wasn't aware of the meteorite. I get that, but Detective Jowd, on the other hand, there's no way he didn't know about this Temsic thing, and if he knew... And the man died. I took his life. What was that confession of his all about? What? The rocks of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives, like the ripples on a pond when the pebble is dropped in. With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the chain of mysteries before dawn? Whoa. Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, we decided to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I want to ask Detective Jowd. Kismet means fate. Fitting for a game about reversing fate. I think the joke is more obvious in the Japanese version. Oh, I get it. I like that. We found the music box, Detective Jowd. Good job, Lin. I knew you would. <clears throat> Once everything had been resolved, I wanted you to I wanted you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Cabanella, right? I don't suppose he'll ever forgive me. Detective Jowd. Now then, let's get this thing open. There's a certain knack to doing it. Uh, to, there's a certain knack to doing it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> See? He calls that a knack. Looks more like brute strength to me. Whoa. Whoa, Mary, be careful Mary with that. Poppins box. You should find scorch marks on the grip. Scorch marks? When Camilla built her contraption, she used a special kind of string. It's a kind magicians use. It burns up in an instant and disappears. Why would little Camilla use something like that? I don't know. Maybe because she's a detective's daughter. Not leaving any, any evidence behind and all that. <laughs> in the case report, there was some mention of scorch marks. Oh. When it happened, Camilla was watching from her hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun, something she naturally didn't include in her design. I took the gun out of the frame and replaced it with a picture. If you remove the picture, you should find scorch marks behind, the, behind it on the frame, too. And those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words... It proves the contraption existed there in that in that room that day. And it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Exactly, some cowardly culprit modified the design. But that angle was never brought up in court. And so, as Justice Minister, 
I must call off the execution at this point. Ooh. I knew I was right. It wasn't Detective Jowd. Now we can finally prove that. Thank goodness. Thank you, Lynn. In those eyes of yours, I see the eyes of that little girl from ten years ago. Time to go inside your brain. Sissel, if you hadn't come to my cell tonight, I would be gone by now without ever having known any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I told myself these past five years. But things are different now. <laughs> Thanks to you, my eyes have finally been opened. Tonight. I've come into contact with a lot of people's lives and got involved in their fates. And the only reason I was doing it was to regain my own lost memory. But things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow. I just know it. And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions in order to find out the truth about us. Fair enough. Fire away. Maybe don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too soon! Manipulator. Sissel told me all about it, Detective Jowd. About the manipulator. Yes, and it looks like this manipulator really did a number on the minister, too. Ah! Oh! Please don't pick on the minister. If he dies again, I'm the one who has Birthing to save from him. from a gay lake. Oh! Sissel, do you think... Do you think that's what happened to me, too? Hmm? What are you talking about, Lin? Don't tell me. You were manipulated, too? There was always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. That image of the one who shot me. Oh, wait. Is it... Oh, is is this, it, it's is you, this, actually. Is it you? It's, it's not Lynn. But I now think I it's... see the possibility of a new explanation. Could have been. Yeah. But it wasn't. But! Who is it? And why did they do it? Hmm. That contraption was a birthday surprise for Camilla's mother, wasn't it? That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know that device from somewhere. No surprise there. You lost your life once tonight because of that machine. Right? I knew it! See, Detective Jowd? No, I'm afraid I don't see. I told Detective Jowd about it. I told him about seeing the exact same contraption tonight in a different- uh, in a completely different place. That was a very good- Oh, Thank you. Uh, that's very strange indeed. A junkyard on the edge of town? I've never even heard of the place. And what's more, I've never told a single soul about that contraption. You haven't? Hmm, that old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? Oh my god. Temsik. Detective Jowd, you must have heard this name before. Temsik. The meteorite that fell into the park ten years ago. You were there! So you found out about that, did you? I heard that meteorite saved little Lin's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lin that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If that's true, doesn't it mean you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Jowd, you told me that, ten years ago, the person you- the person who killed the perpetrator at the park was you. Hold on. Okay. I'll just Sorry. bring my flashlight that will be enough. <laughs> what? But it was the meteorite! I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away, no question about it. It was entirely my fault. I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if the meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. That's not true! You weren't trying to save me. You oh, you were trying to save me! <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's really it. Huh? The truth about ten years ago. This guy really just wants to think he killed people. I know, right? He just wants to feel bad so bad. Like, dude, you're good. Feel bad for you're a me. good dude. <laughs> On that day, ten years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Another place? Yes. In the police headquarters interrogation room, the worst sort of incident, a suspect who was being questioned escaped. Wow, I didn't know about that. 
I happened to be there in the detective division, so I joined the chase. Fortunately, or I guess unfortunately, I was able to track him down alone in the park. Hold it right there! I fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him bad. That warning shot made him panic. At the time, I was a young and green detective, brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. I made him panic and got you involved, Lynn. It was all my fault. De detective oh. Jowd. Sorry. All I could see was my target. I couldn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lynn. Listen, if you don't want me here, I can I'm go. I'm sorry! <laughs> I just get really into the story. It's getting so tense. It's good. So, the man who grabbed me died that day. These last ten years, I've never forgotten his face. And then a few years after that, when my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way, I thought it was fate, my punishment for what I've done. I painted pictures of in my cell, nothing but portraits of people's faces. All the faces of the many people I'd met in my life and didn't want to forget. We're just going with the hell. That's nice, they give him paints. Yeah, aw, uh, it's a little arts and crafts prison. And tonight. <laughs> well, they, they give the fucking curry-loving guy, like, a big head suction. And they give oh, the... What the fuck is that thing? I don't know, but they also give the rock star guy, like, a bunch of instruments. Oh, Special prison, all right. Yeah, it's ethical. I finished my last portrait. The final face I wanted to remember. No way. No! The final face. The face of the man in the park that day. Wait just a minute! That can't be. I saw that painting. I saw you- I saw the face you painted tonight. Bruh. It was my face. Are you telling me I was the man in the park that time? Their eyes are like weird sausages. That's right. That face of yours was the face I saw ten years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole, of the man who was pronounced dead at the scene. But hold on, Detective Jowd. That can't be true. I just met Sissel for the first time tonight. And he died right in front of me. By the way, the name that I know... The name that I know the man in the park that day by... Oh my god, that sentence is Our like impossible to read. <laughs> Yo, Ta, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Ta. Yo. Looking respectfully. Oh, gosh, I mean. <laughs> go Hi, right ahead. Ta. Yo, welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome. You're playing Viewfinder. Oh, Viewfinder, that's the game that's like... Wait a minute. Did you just shift reality that game? The game with the cringe oh. dialogue? But it looks really good. It looks like a really good puzzle game. People are just clowning on it because of the writing. You find it was really good? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of feel bad how much bad press that game got because um, of that clip. The clip of the cringe dialogue. I mean, it's like, shit, the game still looks good, though. I you think have I remember it. It just looked cool. It does, yeah. You have to look disrespectfully. Oogle that otter. I mean, I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all right. <laughs> all right. Yo, welcome, welcome. We are, uh, things are getting really crazy in, in uh, Ghost Trick right now. We're kind of approaching the end of the game, but we're not quite at the end yet. Uh, so if you, I don't know, I feel like DST. if you have any the interest at all, tournament. Uh, I would avoid the spoilers and I, I avert your eyes. But it's getting really crazy um, and I'm really liking it so far. I didn't hear about the cringe dialogue. There's just some like... It was like, um, the, the, there's like a character that talks to the, that talks to you that's like, wait a second, don't tell, it's like Marvel movie style stuff where it's like, what, that just happened, like that kind of stuff. Um, I, I, it's fine. It's fine, yeah, I'd still, sure, I'd still fine. check it out. I mean, it's mostly about the puzzle. Uh huh. I've been watching you play this whole game, so I don't mind spoilers. Oh, <laughs> shit, well, you're in too deep now. Thank you for the raid, thank you again, I really appreciate it. For what it's worth, you can mute it without much issue. Yeah, that's true. He you, did you can a pose mute it. like he wanted me to enter him. By the way, the name that I know the man in the park that day by. That sentence is like breaking my brain. 
It's okay. The name that I know the man in the park that day by isn't Sissel. What? From the first minute I laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering, who in the world is that guy? Uh, I, I, uh... What? Hello? Mr. Minister. Inspector Cabanella, where are you? Just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. Demand? What? What? Demand. Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be to... No, is he being manipulated? No, he can't be... He can't be manipulated. He's I'm so, so, like... I'm so glad that clouds exist. He's so, like... Look at him, Himself. <laughs> yeah, he's so determined. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo! What the Ugh. fuck? The execution must be tonight. Once we've confirmed it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. What are you talking about, Inspector Cabanella? And you know it wasn't my daughter who was... And you know it wasn't my daughter who was abducted. Does it really matter who the hostage is? A life is a life. Dude, what the fuck? Even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. <laughs> Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. Get that stick out of his ass. This guy <laughs> sucks. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Minister? You look paler than ever. What in the world? What's going on, Inspector Cabanella? So defeated. The rock of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago twisted the fates of many people and started a chain of tragic events. And even now, the chain continues to grow ever longer. Inspector Cabanella's call proved that to us. Mm. And the greatest mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? Who am I? <laughs> I'm even further from knowing when I started. Uh, knowing than when I started. What the hell? Wow, is it what a crime a... to be walking around Spot with an unconscious body? I know. I was just thinking. We got three chapters left. <gasps> three <gasps> chapters left. I feel like we can save it for next time. Otherwise, there won't be enough stream for next time. <laughs> nothing makes sense. <laughs> no, nothing makes sense. It just gets crazier and crazier. <laughs> the I'm the guy that died emails. ten years ago, and Nod, and the meteor, and the time, and. Das guy doesn't even know I'm smelling his fiarts. That's crazy. Don't leave us on a cliffhanger. I have to. Tune I'm sorry. In, tune in next time. Tune week. in next time. I didn't mean to. Uh, <laughs> wait, let's return to title. Uh, boop. And I'm still, I'm still digesting all that. I'm like. Get good. <laughs> ah. Uh, okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay. We gotta save this for next time. It's the perfect ending point. Um, those quotes really work coming from Missile. I don't know. I don't know. Do they? <laughs> those guys doesn't even know I'm smelling his fiarts. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's well, return the title, and we can. Uh, God's not that good at drawing, anyways. Tune in next Whoa, time. Missile, chill. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. And follower, thank you for the biddies. Thank you. The rock of the gods. Hinlos, what is your favorite Pikmin? And why is it the purple one? What is your favorite Pikmin? Why is it the purple one? I don't even think I've seen the purple Pikmin yet. I've just started Pikmin. Orple! I didn't even know there was a purple one. Yeah, Orple. That's a spoiler. No. Orple. It's from Pikmin 2. Oh, well, it's a spoiler from me. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's end game ready. and uh, we'll we'll I'll take a peek and see who's streaming right now. I'll toss y'all over, and I'm super hungry, so I'm gonna eat some food after. Mm. Chris and, just yeah. started playing Pikmin Four for the first time, and that's their first Pikmin game. Yeah. So yes, clearly not a Pikmin fan. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm a new one. I'm not. <laughs> but then again, I could do this. Are you playing the Pikmin piano? Yeah, I realized I could have been acting it out like it's coming from my mouth, but I didn't do that. So I just summoned it telepathically. <laughs> um. Ah! 
Thank you for the boop. Oh, my my Pikmin redeem is my Pikmin buttons are so janky. They're not really working. Telepathic Pikmin 2 intro soundbite. Hell yeah. This is your- Oh yeah, it's my ghost trick. Bones are living things. This is my ghost trick. Yo, Hugh, thank you so much for the reset. Thank you! 31 months, thank you so much. Meow, uh... meow. Whoa, was- Whoa, was that an alley meet me an exclusive? We haven't- We haven't heard one of those before. Crazy. Alright, let's go back to this screen. Um, in game. Okay. Put I wish my brain worked. Got the music going. Oh my god. Uh, alright, let's see. Wait, is there another what? Is there another hype train? What the heck? What the heck? Thank you. This is the end of the stream. Thank you so much. Shoot. Oh. All right, let's see who is on right now. How's your stomach, Allie? It's a little better. Oh, okay. Yeah, we did it. We did it, chat. Can we get some more frat boy praise? Now, who to raid? Who to raid? I think I'm gonna raid. Synchronized mass meet mute pet redeem in 15. Synchronized. 14, 13. 12, <laughs> what? That's too many. 11, that's too much countdown. 10, I lost interest. 9, I forgot. 8, 7, 6, 5, um, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah! You gotta work in deep work. Pet. 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 I'm gonna. Uh, ah! Freaking god! I'm gonna raid whiskey. Let's get pet nerd. Because whiskey is cool, and I like whiskey. Whiskey is playing whiskey. A game, some a horror game. game. I don't know what kind of game, but a game. But you know it's gonna be good. Cause whiskey don't miss. Is what I learned. Whiskey. Um. Let's make the raid message. Uh, give me a sec. Raid of the gods. I think that's cute. At least I think this is the tier one uh, sub emote. I'm pretty sure it is. It, it is. It is, okay, we're good. So if you have the emotes, feel free to copy and paste it. This is the raid message. Um. I'm I'm so excited to play more Ghost Trick next yeah! week. Woo! Yeah, I like how I just get more and more confused every single time I play. Yay! But next time, it's gonna all make sense. Everything's gonna make sense. I can't wait for that. Thanks for hanging with me. I really appreciate it, chat. I hope you had fun. I'm really enjoying this game. Um, I'll be back on. Whoa. Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern, with more Pikmin, I think. Yippee! And, yeah. What the heck? Yeah, I think I'll do Pikmin on the weekends. What, is everything okay, Allie? Yeah, I'm just looking at Whiskey's stream. This game that he's playing is, like, crazy looking. Oh, well, like I'm, it... I'm going to have a look right when the raid starts. Bye, everyone. See you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Shout out to Allie. Everyone go follow Allie. Bye.